Today, I'm so excited to be talking to researcher René Van Western from Utrecht University in the Netherlands about his work studying the AMOC current tipping point. Hi, René. Thanks so much for joining me today. What is the AMOC current anyways? Yeah, thank you, Robert, for having me. So the AMOC, so the AMOC, that is a large-scale ocean circulation in the Atlantic Ocean. And you can imagine it like a conveyor belt. So water is flowing near the surface towards the north, near Greenland, where it becomes very cold and salty. There it sinks to greater depths and then flows south again. So you're having this kind of cycle in the Atlantic Ocean. And that transports vast amount of heat and salinity through the global ocean. Um, you just had a paper published in Science Advances. Congratulations, by the way. Your paper says the AMOC is on a tipping course. What happens if the current collapses? So when this current collapses, it will result in all different kinds of climate shifts because this current is like a thermostat of the world. So when it doesn't redistribute its heat anymore, the northern hemisphere where Canada is situated, that will cool down. But on the other hand, the southern hemisphere warms up. Okay. And you also have different kind of precipitation pattern shifts. And also the sea level in the Atlantic Ocean rises by about one meter in some regions. So if it collapses, basically almost everything changes, right? Exactly. Okay. It sounds weird if the planet is warming to have Canada get a lot colder. Yeah, that is indeed really weird. Um, but climate change is still continuing, so it's getting warmer. But on the other hand, there are some factors, and maybe it is a little bit counterintuitive, that some things under climate change can result in a cooling. But still, other places are getting even warmer under such a abrupt collapse. Yeah. Is there any way to tell when this will happen? So that's a really good question. So we cannot say when this will happen. We can only say that we are moving towards this critical tipping point. And therefore, it is very urgent that we need to stay far away from that because the climate shifts are very severe for society. Okay, so then you also designed an early warning system using physics, which is really cool. Is the warning system in place right now? There are indeed uh, measurements already conducted over here, and those are already being conducted at the moment. But the observational record is very short, so therefore we need longer measurements to say something about when this will happen in the future. Yeah. It feels like literally everyone on Twitter is freaking out about your research. For kids, it all sounds pretty scary. I wondered if you could tell us if we should be panicking. Well, I don't think that panicking is a very good advice, then, because people are then getting also upset. I think it is very important to tackle and also to reduce our impact on Earth. And that will then hopefully prevent such a potential future in which the AMOC tips. So is it possible to stop it? That's also a really good question, but we still need to further investigate. Uh, but we know that under future climate change, the Earth will destabilize when it got hotter. So therefore, it is very important that we need to reduce our impact on our climate. Okay. What can kids do to help? Yeah, so kids can, of course, do all different kinds of stuff, inspiring their parents. Maybe you can bike even more, enjoy all the beautiful nature around you. So hopefully we and also all of your parents can be more sustainable and that will definitely help the planet. Okay. Rene, in the Netherlands, thank you is Dengjivel. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Vanna, for joining me today. As a thank you, we'd like to make a donation on your behalf for $25 Canadian to your favorite environmental charity. Who are they? What do they do? Yeah, so thank you so much, uh, Robert. So I would like to donate to the Good Food Institute. So they develop plant-based proteins, and that can help to reduce our meat consumption because meat also has a very impact on our climate system. So therefore, it would be good to improve this and reduce our meat consumption. All right, great. Please click the link below to make a donation to the Good Food Institute. And remember, together kids can save the world. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So have five from me, all the way from the Netherlands. Okay. <laughs>